me, like other fans, when the season started, were like, what the hell was going on? I know, like, but no one knew what really what was going on. Everybody's getting frustrated. But having a chance to actually spend some time, spend some time talking to him as well, you realize that this is all schemed for the opponent. And I'm excited because we're seeing how much of a recruiter that Marcus Freeman is as well. And so he's in a situation, he's only been here for what, like five or six months. And we've already said that he's going to be walking on water pretty soon. Um, but the idea is really to allow him to actually get his players in, which I think is going to be great. Not, not taking for granted this year, I think this year is going to be great for him as well because he has a chance to kind of experience what Notre Dame is about. And it's not Cincinnati, which I'm sure he found out. Um, even though he had a lot of success there, he's going to have more success here at Notre Dame. It's going to take a little bit longer time. And I'm excited because I have a chance to kind of see him do what he wants to do. And we've, we've seen it so far kind of in the second half of the season. Um, you, you see a lot of defensive players making big plays. When you match up against a team like Georgia Tech, Notre Dame is better, and Notre Dame should win that game. But when you look at the defensive line, is this? Do you? Is it more about this team rather than so much of the matchup against the offensive line of Georgia Tech? You know what I mean? Sure, and, and that's really what it is for every game. I mean, you never want to see, or you, you really never want to focus on who the offensive line is as a defensive um, lineman uh, from a defensive line point, right? So the idea is that you're going to run your defense regardless of what they throw at you. You're going to go out there and, make, and hopefully make plays. And I think that's what his players are now realizing, that if we listen to this guy who just, he just came here a couple months ago, um, he can take you to the promised land if you pay attention, if you listen. And I think, again, in the second half of the season, we finally are. And so against Georgia Tech, I mean, that's something that, that is special in a way because the, they'll have a chance to go out there and prove themselves again. So I have a, a, a theoretical question. Uh, uh, when it, it comes to the playoff and bowl games, so you can, people will kind of compare it to, to basketball, the NCAA tournament, and you'll say, you know, would you rather – go to the NCAA tournament and lose that first game, get knocked out, or would you rather go to the NIT and win the whole thing? Almost always everyone says go to the NCAA tournament. Sure. So when you look at football, if Notre Dame has a chance to play in the playoff again but loses in that first round of the playoff, would you prefer that or would you prefer Notre Dame to go to a New Year's Six bowl game and get the job done, dominate, and win? Um, well, the first part of your question, would, would I like to see them go to the playoff in the first round and lose again? Um, that's going to be the frustrating part um, because they've done this a couple times and my friends around the country and the guys I played against, um, some guys that I played with, we're all talking about like, hey, this has to stop. It's, but it's not going to stop until you go out there and prove yourself, right? And so a New Year's Six Bowl is great. Don't get me wrong, I've had a chance to participate in four of them. They were phenomenal, but you want to have a chance to compete against the best. And if that means you may lose, then you may lose, but you're going to learn something. And I think that's what Notre Dame has done a couple other times when they've lost. They've learned something, and they, they realize what they have to do. And that's the most important thing, because at the end of the day, you want to compete against the best. That's why you came to Notre Dame. So you want to compete against the best. And if that means we're going to go in the playoffs, then we are definitely going to go to the playoffs. How long do you think it will be before Notre Dame can go to the playoffs and win that game, go to the national championship and get it done? So right now we're hoping it's like soon, like hopefully this year, right? We're, we're just taking one game at a time. If it doesn't happen this year, then we're hoping for next year. But I think what, what's going to help again, it, and I'm on the Marcus Freeman bandwagon, is that as soon as he gets his players in, as soon as he has a chance to really establish himself, now we love defense as a, as a defensive player. I love defense. He, he, he's our, our defensive coordinator. And... We all know that defense wins championships, and so as long as we get, as long as we make sure that his defenses are being successful, then we're going to go out and win some games.